I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. In Gross Point Shores, investigators trying to determine the cause of a fire that forced a roof to collapse on a Gross Point Shores home. Fire crews were on the scene early this morning on Roslyn Street. Neighbors tell 7 Action News everyone inside was able to make it out unharmed. Gross Point Shores Department of Public Safety says neighbors in the area may experience discolored water for a short period of time. No word yet on what started that fire. In Roseville, a police officer has been released from the hospital after being involved in a car crash. It happened around 7.30 this morning when a man from Frazier was entering the eastbound lanes of 13 Mile and Callahan when he collided with the Roseville police unit. According to officers, the driver did not properly defrost the windows of his vehicle. The driver was ticketed and the officer is expected to return to full duty. United Auto Workers have approved a four-year deal with Ford. The contract guarantees pay raises and other benefits, including $9,000 signing bonuses for full-time workers. Temporary employees get $3,500 signing bonuses and a guaranteed path to full-time employment. Ford is also required to invest $6 billion into its manufacturing facilities, as well as create or retain 8,500 hourly jobs in the U.S., the automaker will also close an engine plant under the new terms. Now let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. Looking at 21 degrees for tonight, so another cold start for your day tomorrow. 21 in the city. The teens will be possible for some backyards outside of the city. 37 for your Sunday. More clouds move in. Not going to rule out just a little bit of rain, but it looks like a better chance of seeing some precip Monday and Tuesday. And then once we reach Wednesday and Thursday, we start to warm up. We're back into the 40s, but that warm up comes with an, another chance of seeing some rain. All right, those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a good day.